what is up what is good y'all so i am back with another diy video as y'all can see i'm about to take these leggings that i bought from walmart i wanted to look for something that was colorful something that was had some print to it something that was fun and so these were the perfect match so if you guys are ready to get into this transformation and this diy video let's go ahead and get into it let's get it let's go all right so i went ahead and took my leggings and placed them on the table while folded and then i took some spandex and placed them on top so i can use this so i can know where to cut and how long i or how short i want my bottoms to be when i was done with that i put the to go ahead and measure 10 inches from the top of the pants leg down and I'm going to go ahead and cut that and this piece is what I will be using for the back of my top. All right, so these two pieces are my back and my front pieces that I will be attaching to my shorts. And now I'm just setting them on top of each other, just making sure that they are the same length and that they line up. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to attach them to my shorts and it should look something like this. I also went ahead and hemmed the edges. All right, so once I have attached the two parts to the bottom of the shorts I'm going to go ahead and just take extra off the top because it's too long and then I'm going to fold the front part of the top in half and then I'm going to just pin it down just so that everything will stay in place and once that's done I'm going to cut straight down the middle and this is how I got my split down the middle Next thing, I'm going to bring the right sides together of the top where it is split down the middle and I'm going to close it and that is how I close my top. And then I'm also going to just hem the edges of the top as well because I just wanted to give it a nice clean look. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now I just sewed this using a straight stitch but you can use either a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch for this part. Alright, so now I'm just fitting the top around my boobs because I'm heavier at the top and so I just want to make sure that everything fits. And once I did that, I'm going to go ahead and finish off this top. All right, so this is the last step of this one piece. So now I am just going to put holes on the side because I'm going to use the string from the beginning of this video and put the string through these holes on the sides of the one piece. And I just measured about one inch apart and then I also used my chalk to make my markings on my one piece. And me adding this part just gives the one piece a little bit more details and just to spice it up a little bit so that it's not so plain. Alright you guys, so here is the final look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope y'all enjoyed watching me make this one piece out of some leggings. It's amazing what you can make out of some leggings, you guys. So here you guys go again. Here is the before and after. So yes, I got these leggings from Walmart just to try this experiment out. These leggings was no more than $5. It was $4.88. You guys, I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta really utilize what you can as you guys can see i made something out of nothing made these leggings into this one piece and it turned out really well and make sure y'all subscribe to my channel make sure y'all like this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos you don't miss out on when i post more diys or any other type of videos you guys Thanks for tuning in and I will catch you all on the next one. Thank you.